So if you have downloaded something, then you can click on the three dot button over here on the top right hand side and click on the download button right here. And then you get the download section as you can see. If I were to go to more option, then I can go to download space right here. So once I go around over here, then you can see that I can see all of the downloads that I have right here. I can go around and remove this from the list as well. So once I remove the download from the list, what happens is that it gets removed from the list, but it is still in the downloads folder. So if I were to go around over here, it is still in the folder, even if I were to delete it from here. If I were to delete this right here, uh, again, show in folder, then you can see that that particular file that I deleted is still here. So that is what you have, as you can see, just like this. So if I were to go around over here on to, let's say, for example, search for files, then I type in 7z right here, then it'll search out for those particular download files um, um, uh, that I want. Let's say, for example, if I just want a download file, um, uh, with the name extra on it, then I can simply type in extra. Then you can see that that is what you have. You just have the download file with the extra showing up right here. So that is what you have. And if I were to go around onto apps, then you got the same option as you can see right here. You can show in folder or you can go around and close it or you can open up the download folder from over here as well. So if I were to go around on the three dot button, then I can access the download settings from over here. And if I want to clear out all of the downloads uh, from the download list, you can clear out all right here and clear out all of the download history. So it's not there anymore. But uh, that just uh, uh, clears out the history on the download base right here in Microsoft S. But when you open up the download folder, the downloads are still there. If you want to delete out the file, then you need to select these and then delete the downloads manually by yourself. So that is how you can manage download list um, inside of Microsoft S. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.